Blue Planet has really timed the market uh, so perfectly with uh, your cloud native uh, OSS platform. It's um, the right solution at the right time for carriers. And I think one reason why you're having the success with it is that uh, Blue Planet um, was a real first mover in AI. I mean, you deployed it all the way back in 2019. Do you find it slightly annoying that everyone else has now jumped on your your bandwagon here? How do you differentiate uh, the Blue Planet solution in such an overcrowded market? I don't find it annoying at all. As they say, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Um, so we're excited at Blue Planet that we took a thought leadership position, understanding the importance of AI and how it can really drive change in networks. And we, like you've said, we've been working on it for years. You've said that AI is a massive opportunity for OSS, but, but what does that look like to customers in practice? Well, really, there's a great opportunity to drive efficiency with AI. In OSS, most systems today are pre-programmed. So they've got uh, scripts in place, and are not necessarily dynamic in nature. But services today are very much dynamic in nature. So if you change something in the network, say a new device is added, say a parameter is changed, in the scripting model, you need to go back and manually change that script. This doesn't bode well for reacting quickly to the needs of the network. So when you introduce AI, and more specifically, AI agents and agentic AI, there's a focus around intent. What is the desired outcome versus the specific process to achieve that outcome? And when you're applying that, you're actually applying reasoning. So you're no longer just following patterns as it was done in machine learning. You're applying reasoning and logic to obtain a final outcome, but without saying what actions are needed to take that outcome. Uh, you're ahead of the market. I think some carriers are behind the market in terms of deploying AI and OSS. Where, where's the shortfall? Where are they coming up short at the moment? So to be able to implement a truly agentic AI framework, data is the mission critical oil, if you will. Um, the data needs to be clean needs to be structured, and it needs to be timely. Because if one agent is going to take an action based on the recommendations of the previous agent, if that information is out of date or the state is out of date, the actions that that next agent will take will be based on old information and might not be correct. So um, having data be accessible from multiple sources is incredibly important. What's the first step in that? How do you recommend people go around that, that, that process? People are drowning in data. You're never going to get it all into one database or even into one data lake because sometimes you get so much information that it's no longer useful. The idea of having something like a data fabric and a, a system that allows you to bring in multiple sources of data federate that data and make sense of it is what can take you to the next level. So allowing those AI agents to have access to that clean, structured, normalized data and to be able to take actions upon that. When you have um, an older system, like a monolithic system, data sits in a lot of different silos. And when you take a cloud-first approach, a cloud-native approach, now you have the ability to scale up, scale down. You've got more flexibility in your system. And you don't essentially need to over-provision resources and spend a lot of money on hardware or cloud services that you're not actually even using. But there are no um, greenfield sites in, in Telco. They're all... Brownfield. I imagine that you have thought that through and provide migration strategies from the old 20th century uh, telecom infrastructure into the new 21st century virtualized cloud infrastructure. Is that a big focus for, for Blue Planet and its customers? It is. And you're 100% right. Um, there are very, very few green fields, and, and that's a luxury, right? Starting from scratch. Um, so at Blue Planet, we're making sure that we have 
open interfaces. We followed standard APIs so that you can integrate with multiple legacy systems, but then add value on top of those systems. What would you say, I guess, to a carrier who's still, you know, in this existential crisis, really, where they know they need to upgrade the network, um, but, you know, it's expensive? Well, I'd say to jump right in, but jump in with your eyes wide open. So start small. If you try and tackle a use case that requires just too many people, too much processing, and too much data, it's going to be very difficult to succeed at first. So start small and go from there.